Mathematics is like a puppy. If you play with it, it will play with you. If you run from it, it will chase after you. I have been playing with math since my childhood and I have started teaching mathematics from early age while I was in grade 7. While I teach maths, I hear many myths about maths. Now I am going to tell you some of those myths that I hear most. First of all, many children think that you need to have good memory for maths. Mathematics is about understanding, not remembering. Knowing maths means that concepts make sense to you and rules and formulas seem natural. This kind of knowledge cannot be gained through rote memorization. Another myth that I hear is that everyone does not have a maths mind. Maths should come naturally to all people if only they had a proper grounding in the fundamentals. The reason why math does not come naturally to some people is because there are gaps in their basic knowledge. And a myth that I hear the most, I believe it is completely wrong. That is, maths is logical, not creative. Maths consists of all sorts of patterns and symmetrics. To solve math equations and problems, you need to creative and several ideas to solve it. I am postgraduate in mathematics. I taught maths in schools and colleges as well as home tuition. I always try to explore new techniques to solve mathematical problems in simple and fun ways. There are several myths students and parents have related to maths which somehow stop or slow down the learning. Yes, definitely. You can overcome your fear on maths and learn maths in a fun way. I would like to demystify the area of mathematics which some consider a mystery as mysterious as the Bermuda Triangle. But it's nothing more than a child's playground. So I would talk about how mathematics is born to you and how you are born to mathematics. Then I would also like to talk about why I consider maths to be a child's play and how to approach it. Imagine you go to a restaurant and everyone has to pay 200 rupees and there are 6 of you. So you add 200 rupees 6 times and get 1200 rupees. But have the same problem given on paper you will take a slightly longer time than that. The reason is that in the restaurant you can imagine the situation practically and visualize multiplication as repeated addition. Whereas on the question paper you were trying to multiply 2 times 6 using the multiplication table we memorized long ago. We use math in daily life without even realizing it but we try to memorize the ones that we use for school and exams. We have seen through childhood we know about the shadow of any pole in the afternoon noon will be small or little because the sun is on the back level. So, passively like in the back of your mind, you can estimate or double estimate the rough duration of time using shadow. But, you don't know that trigonometry is there in play. And that there is no need to memorize a formula that will come later in higher classes. But you have learned or seen trigonometry since childhood. Now we know that maths and our lives are intertwined. So, it's best to make it your friend. So, let's uh, take a minute and do a small exercise. I want you to calculate manually 15 times 90. Now, some of you might have solved it and some of you might have struggled with it. So, now let's simplify the problem. I want you to calculate 15 times 20 or you can do 15 times 2 times 10. Then you will get 300. I want you to subtract 15 from 300. Now it must have 285. We simplify and broke down the problem from 15 times 19 to 15 times 
20 minus 50. Now it's all inclusion. The problem is the same but depends on how approach. It depends on, on how you play with numbers and how much clarity you have with it. It will require you to practice in the beginning but once you have a hang of it, it will all be intuition for you. Now you might argue this was a rather simple problem and in higher classes problems will be a lot more complex. But I would like to highlight and emphasize that the fundamentals will remain the same. You just need to break the problems into smaller chunks and play with them like Legos. Let's take another example, the volume of a bucket. Now let's say you know how to calculate the volume of a cone. So you can convert a bucket into two cones. It consists of two cones, cone 1 and cone 2. Now it's simple mathematics that dictates just simply subtract this volume and you will get the volume of the bucket. Now you might in your future classes, you will encounter this problem as a volume of a first term. It might on complex, but the underlying problem was a very simple subtraction of two cones. Rather than memorizing, if the child just understand how simple addition, subtraction, multiplication and division work, all these things are built on top of it. If you overcome fear of maths by learning a fun way, you will have several benefits in life such as it helps to understand logical things, processes and the world better. It helps in almost every profession and career. It makes you better in problem solving. It has real world application and it is excellent for your brain and memory. At last, not only would say, I say that maths is nothing to be feared, but I would rather go ahead and say that you can solve complex mathematic problems with the blink of an eye. And the examination will be an intuition for you. You don't need to work late at night, but rather understand the fundamentals surrounding you. Thank you.